Okay, the number should start, Larry, and we are recording. We're not live, though. We're All not right. live on yeah. that. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at this and see how it turns out. I had some music that I had to compete with here a minute ago. All right. uh, my next guest is Larry Jones. Larry is the one who organizes Wheel Night. Larry, how many years have you been doing this now? Uh, too many to count. Too many to count. So you? No, it's been can't I, be too I, many. Yeah, you know, I took over this about. Maybe 10, 15 years ago. Okay, and, and tell the folks the story of taking over, why you took it over, why it was necessary. Well, the reason I took it over, I'm sorry I can't remember his name, I'm bad on names. But the guy that did start this, he passed away. Oh. And he was from a class uh, younger than me. And then, Wait, what class are you in, Larry? I'm in 73. 1973? I think he was 74. Okay. And uh, I decided that... I'd cover, you know, I'd, I'd take it over for him. And we used to have it out at Geneva on the lake. And then he, when he was still, we decided to bring it back to, you know, when he passed away, we were still on Geneva on the lake. And I decided we came from Madison, let's go back to Madison. What better place than Madison? It, probably everybody has the book to it teeth on beer yep. is at the wheel. Yep, yep. So we call it the wheel. Now what was the name of that winery in Geneva on the lake? The Firehouse Winery, Firehouse right? Winery. Okay. Yeah. Now there was a girl also that ran this for a few years. Was was she in between that guy and you? Uh, she moved away, didn't she? And, and she stopped doing it? Am I wrong? Uh, no, that was his wife. Was her name Teresa? I, I don't know. Was it Thomas? Teresa Thomas? No, that name don't ring that a bell. doesn't ring, ring no, a bell? Don't ring a bell. Okay. Now I, I take credit for something, Larry. Now I and I may be wrong, but let's let's get this out on the out on the floor here. Okay. Um when you were trying to think of a name for this, mm -hmm. I remember suggesting Wheel Night because yeah, I, why yes, night you did. why night so do I get some sort of credit for Yes, you get I do credit get credit. It was your idea. Okay. I, I like the name so I went. Oh great, great. I thought me, I was hoping. And now I, I just needed to get yeah. that out in the open. I don't get credit for much, but I want to get credit for, <laughs> for what I got, uh, what my ideas that I come up with. Mm -hmm. So I, this um, this is pretty, um, it's it's not a, a labor. Is there a lot of stuff you have to do to No, not really. This? I just get in contact with the owner of the wagon wheel, set up the date. It's always the first Saturday in August. It's been that way since we started it. It will stay that way, and uh, so then I have to. I bring a notebook for everybody to sign in. I have to buy. I buy name tags. No problem. Not that much. Right. And I have a sign that I post up so they can see it when they walk through the door. You know, to sign in. Yes. And then the owner of the wagon wheel puts it up on his LED board outside. Now his name is Max. What's Max's last name? Do you know? Uh, I'm thinking Anderson, but I'm not 100 sure to be honest. Okay. With you. I, I, that doesn't sound right to me. I, I, yeah, I don't know if I know if I heard it. Maybe I should interview Max. Get him yeah, on. Yeah, that'd there. be a good idea. That would be might be a good yeah, idea. Yeah, that'd huh? be a great idea. So I might. Uh, I just might do that. So um, okay. So um, <coughs> the first year you took it over, you brought it out here. Is that right? Uh, no, I think it was the second year I decided to move it. Okay. Because I was getting a lot of complaints justified for parking down there. Down at the Firehouse Winery. And, it's terrible. Uh, yeah, there's no, really no parking. I mean, I had some people come out and tell me they had to park to go down at the east end of the strip and walk back. Oh, yeah. I know uh, there was times I uh, parked at the lodge. Yeah. Uh, now, I didn't mind doing that because mm -hmm. I like to walk anyway. Yeah. But, uh, so, has this been a, uh, a good experience, a rewarding experience? Yes, it, it has. Okay. I, 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 it, and, you know, I think it's been a rewarding experience, and I look forward to doing it every year because it help, helps me keep my mind off of things that has happened to me in the past. Sure. So it's uh, it's like me. I've, I've run a, uh, 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 as you know, mm -hmm. you get my newsletter. Yeah. I've been doing that on and off since shortly after 2001, mm -hmm. after our 30th reunion. And, uh, and sometimes I've got tired of it, and I've stopped. And I've started a backup for, for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. I've started it up. But it always, if I ever stopped it, it wasn't because it wasn't rewarding. It yeah. was because it was taking up a lot of time. Right. Now, this isn't taking up a lot of your time, is Not it? Not really. No. Okay, okay. So, can, do you have any stories 
that uh, that you can share that uh, that were uh, of a rewarding nature that you can specifically think of? Or is uh, it well, the only one I can really think of, class of '76, they had their 40th reunion, I think it was, and they had it incorporated in here. So there's a lot of class of '76 here that night. So they had their reunion here the same night as as we had the all class reunion. Right. Okay. They had something somewhere Friday night, and then they came here Saturday. Oh, okay. And they presented me with uh, I think it was a plaque, but they also gave me two tickets, season tickets to the Mass High School football. Oh, games. nice. Yeah. So I got to go to all the Mass High School football games. Free. Uh, free. Wow. And it was an assigned seat, so oh, I had my own seat. reserve seat. Reserve seat. I didn't even know they had reserve seats. Yeah, they they have they have some reserve seats. Up wow, there. very nice. They're the ones that are in blue. Those are all reserved. Now, do you um you live in Geneva? No, I live right here in Madison. Oh, you do in Madison. Okay. Yeah, I moved back to Madison. The, where was the last place I saw you? Painesville Speedway. No, I seen you since then. I think. No, no, you've seen me down here too since then. Uh, didn't I see you at, the, at Walmart in Madison one time? Yes, right? you did see yep. me at Walmart. Yep, see? So, yeah, well, we see each other every now and then. Yeah. I've, I've seen you at the Speedway yeah. a couple times. Yeah, I don't go down the Speedway much anymore. No, not much I've, anymore? No, I've retired. Yeah, yeah. you got to wait. You don't want to go where you retired from, right? No, not so, really. So, how many days were you, a week were you working out there? Just race just, night? Just or? race night. Uh, uh, in the latter part of it, I used to do a lot of work down there during the week. And when I first started, I'd go down and mow, help mow, and help clean up and everything. I see. But uh, yeah, after about 23 years or so, I said that's enough. Have you, have you heard any reports about how they're doing out there this year? I hear the car, car count is really down. Really down? Definitely. And that has been a problem with that track many many years many many times right yeah ever yeah. since gordon allen sold it the car count has never been the same now the last time i was out there was two years ago and they seemed to have quite a few cars and they raced until like 1 30 in the yeah. morning it wasn't bad yeah. it was not bad at all well now they can't go i understand they cannot go past 10 30 11 o'clock oh so they got a curfew out there township got them okay because of the noise mm -hmm. noise okay they weren't grandfathered in okay okay well god they've been they've been racing out there forever oh yeah i mean i went, I went there i went there when i was a kid yeah they've been racing out there since uh 1955 i believe okay now you uh, you also uh, run a alumni uh, Facebook site. Yes. Okay. Can you tell the people a little bit about that? Well, mainly what it is is I have an alumni page up there that people want to you know talk to other alumni. I post death notices of passing of our own alumni, or alumni's mom or dad. Or yeah, I've not been getting a lot of those lately. Is Haven't it? had a lot of deaths lately. That's, That's a good. good thing. That's, That's a good, good thing. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, but uh, yeah, I keep that up to date. I go now, what's the name of that? Madison uh, Alumni. Okay. And do people have to like be a member of that? Do you, they have to they, be accepted. Yeah, they, have to, they have to request, uh, wanna request to join and then I have to approve it. Okay. Now how how do they actually for the, those that aren't real familiar with Facebook, mm -hmm. how do they go about requesting that? I'm not sure to be honest with you, I'm not sure if they have to ask to be added or a friend has to you know add them okay. and I have to approve it. Okay. Now I'm a member, am I not? Yes. Okay. Um I obviously haven't been there that much. Yeah. Now there's another site, uh Madison Alumni Association. That's yours? No, that's run by someone different. That's the Madison Alumni Association. They are 125 years old. Okay, yes. And uh, they got to get some more members up. They have a, uh, a, a dinner. It's, it's a formal dinner, yeah, right? Yeah, not really a formal dinner, but it's a, it's a dinner that you pay for and everything. They always have a guest speaker or... Maybe a singer comes in. Uh, they had a woman that came in and she sang songs and well with it. 
but uh, they're hitting membership. Okay. It's going down. Not many people getting into it. So. Yeah. That would be good to see those numbers go back up. Well, it costs a, a fair amount to go to that dinner, right? Isn't it like twenty-five or more dollars? Uh, no, I think it's more like fifteen, sixteen dollars. Is it really? Yeah, the meal, the food's good. Okay. The company's good. A lot of, a lot of you know, alumni there. Uh, Miss Miss Gibbons, she's she goes there. Uh, who who is Miss Gibbons? She's a, she, that was a lady that always sat in the new high school. She sat right outside the principal's office. Her desk was right outside the principal's okay, office. Okay, so she was like the office secretary right. sort of thing? Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Sounds familiar. So there's two alumni sites. There's yours and there's the, the, the official Alumni yeah. Association site. And there's also a, um, I don't know if you've ever gone to it, but it's something about like if you grew up in Madison. Yes, yeah, so if you grew up in Madison, yeah. that's out there. And I think there's another one, but I can't remember the name of it. Now. Okay. All right. So, um, is that a lot of work then? Your your website is that? No. Your, not really, huh? I just you know go up there and check, make sure nobody's arguing or anything, and, uh, saying anything that I don't feel should be said. Okay. And. Uh, but every, you know, everybody's nice and everything, and I've had no problems. So wh which class over the years, and how many, you said you weren't quite sure how many years it's been now. But what, what do, you, do you have a feel for which class supports this wheel night more than any other class? Well, at one time it was 73. Your class? Yeah, my class. Okay. But then it's not back off. It's mostly most of the people here are from the class in the seventies. Okay. Yeah, the younger generation hasn't really caught on to it yet, but I'm sure they will. Well, they haven't been away that long. Yeah. Is maybe it's what it that is. That could be it. Um, now, who from your class have you not seen for a long time that you wish you could? Or well, there's Keith Butler. I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, Brad Bartlett. Weiss, but I got to see Brad Weiss tonight. He is here. Brad Reese? Weiss. Weiss. Brad Weiss. Yeah, he's Doug's brother. Okay. Older brother. Okay. Uh, there's a few. Well, there were, I'll say Ron Baker, but he passed away. Ron Baker? Baker, yeah. Baker. Uh, but there's, there's quite a few. Now, were those your friends or just somebody you kind of... Uh, Ron Baker, Keith Baker. Ron Baker, Keith Button, and I were real close. We I were see. Tight. I see. Uh, Brad and I were, you know, we went to the same church. We were fairly tight. Uh, yeah, that really mean a lot. It, you know, I really haven't really thought about it, but you yeah. know, I enjoy seeing all my classes. Sure. Now, do you uh, are you involved in your own classes uh, reunion at all? Yes. Okay. In fact, we just had our forty fifth last night, and. I kind of set it up, but I had a little bit of help from uh, Claudia. Claudia Gress? Yeah, Gress. Gress. Claudia Gress. She, uh, she sent me a message, told me to call, call these people for a thing at Seabo's, and I just put it up on our uh, class page. And then <coughs> I told her if you do me a if you do me a favor, she contacted him again. Told me how many people we have. I see. I see. Okay, so um, is, is that that's probably more work than anything, right? I mean, uh, that can be. Yeah, because yeah, I did. I helped with my class yeah, in '71, 30 year reunion. We had a 40th. I took it upon myself to try to hunt down every classmate we had. I did the same thing. And I come up. I think about 10 short. Yeah. It's a little bit easier now with Facebook. Yeah. It's a lot easier now with Facebook. Uh -huh. uh, you'll find a whole lot of people on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Um, somebody recently asked me if I'd seen uh, Barb Free in a long time, and I knew her married name. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, right there she is on Facebook. <laughs> and uh, so I uh, tried, I can't remember now who asked me that. Um, but I tried to get some sort of connection going there. I never heard whether I did, but I have 
I don't know if, if you've ever had that experience, but with my between my newsletter and working on my high school reunion, mm -hmm. um, I've had the privilege of reuniting people who have not seen or talked to each other in many, yeah. many years. Yeah. And that is very, very oh, yeah. rewarding. And that's even I get some of that here. Yeah. People see it, oh, I haven't seen you in years. That's what gives me the enjoyment. Yeah, yeah. That's like, just before I came in here, I was out there walking out, just making sure we was having a good time. You know, I'm, I'm a kind of quiet person. Yep. I'll go over some of my classmates, of course, and pick on them, but I just walk around and look and watch everybody, make sure they're having a good time. What do you, what, what do you think the secret <coughs> is for a person going to a class reunion and not coming away feeling like, oh, God, that was boring? What, what, do, you think the, what do you think the secret to that is? Is there a secret? Not really. Yeah, if they come away and say it was kind of boring, then it's their fault. In other words, they, they didn't they try? Didn't, they didn't open up. Right. And I, that's one thing I've always tried to do, is I try to go around and I try to talk to everybody, even people I don't know. Yes. Yeah. You know, I talk to a young girl from the class of 92, yeah. you know, which like is a young girl. I see girl. people here that I knew in school, I knew who they were. I uh, heard of them, and they were assholes, you know, troublemakers, and they're completely different today. Yeah. They're completely, it's amazing what an age, age does to them. I, I've had a lot of people tell me that uh, people don't change, but I'm here to tell you that's no, not right. No, they change. You grow up. Yeah. And if you don't grow up, then there's a problem, right? Yeah. But most people grow up. Yep. And for me, it's always been get out there, talk to everybody. Um, sometimes I run people the wrong way. It's like they think like I'm coming up to introduce myself like I'm somebody. Uh -huh. I don't consider myself somebody. Not I just consider myself somebody who wants to talk to people and have a good time. I have a lot of people thank me, you know, for everything I do. And it's, it's not that. I'm, I'm, be, I'm, be, I'm being humble, but you know, I, I enjoy doing it. Absolutely. Yep, it's a good thing. We, I did enjoy doing it. I walked away from it. Yep. We appreciate it, for sure. I think everybody does. I also um, appreciate uh, your inspirational um, sayings in the morning. Uh, uh, I try to put those up. Uh, you put those in there, and I, I read them. Sometimes it's just the weather report. Uh, stuff like that. I like but everybody, I like everybody to have their day set up. Now, have you have you retired them? Uh, no, I'm you're still, still working, working, right? Of okay. All I right. want to retire though. <laughs> okay. Well, everybody does, but I'll tell you what, it's important to keep busy, uh, and sometimes that requires you work. Sometimes that requires you pay attention to a hobby or something like that. Yep. But we got to keep moving because if we don't, we'll stop. Oh yeah, that's and, good. And uh, you know we're all going to stop eventually, but until then, uh, we'll fight it, fight oh, it yeah. as long as we can, right? Right. All right, Larry. All right, Stu, excellent, well, sir. I got to get back out there and make sure everybody's having a good time. Larry Jones, my first non-1971 Madison High School <laughs> class. We appreciate all the work he's done. Thank you again, Larry. Thank you. Thank you. All right.